Hey, hello everyone, Samsung has released the 2022 version of its most popular premium mid-range phone lineup, the Galaxy A53. In this video, we are going to see how well it's doing. First, we will see what comes with the phone. Galaxy A53 is one of the first budget phones from Samsung that skips the charger inside the package. There will be the paperwork, a C2C data cable, the SIM ejector pin, and the handset itself. Like Apple's smartphones, we would have to buy the 25W charger separately and but it cost reasonable. Moving on to the design of the phone, the Galaxy A53 does not have any big changes in the looks and size compared to last year's A52. Although the dimensions and weight are exactly the same, there is a difference in the quality of the material used. The plastic is more premium and the matte finish protects the back from having smudgy marks. This phone has got full IP67 resistance so protection against sweat and dust will be supreme. Samsung has introduced the unique peach color variant that has impressed many, but you can also buy the A53 in white, black, and blue. Sadly the A53 will be missing the headphone jack which was present until last year, otherwise everything is great with the design. Up front, the display also remains the same as A52. It is the same 6.5 inches Super AMOLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and supporting HDR10+. A resolution of 1080 x 2400 pixels offers quality pictures in bright places and watching HD content is great for the eyes. The peak brightness of this massive screen can hit up to 800 nits with no reflections disturbing during the day. Finally, for screen protection, there is the Gorilla Glass 5 and the in-display fingerprint sensor can be used for unlocking the phone. There is a slight improvement in the display quality than last year, and we can say that this mid-range phone has a better display than the other mid-range phones from Xiaomi, OnePlus, and Realme. Camera technology is a typical mid-range setup that has four lenses. The primary cam is a 64MP wide lens that can shoot with optical image stabilization and PDAF. For ultra-wide shots, we can use the 12MP camera lens, and the last two are the basic depth and macro lenses that are 5MP each. Portrait modes are advanced and there is the night mode that snaps quality low-light pictures. Video shooting in 4K is possible at 30 frames per second and the other camera options are really impressive. The 32MP front cam serves well for video calls and selfies and the punch is so small that it never disturbs. Big changes have happened in the inside part of the phone. The Galaxy A53 is powered by Samsung's own Exynos 1280 chipset built on the 5 nanometers design. It features very good CPU cores along with the Mali G68 GPU with 4 cores. Comparing the performance of Exynos with Dimensity 920 and Snapdragon 778 we could find that there is no significant difference, so the Exynos 1280 is a very capable chipset. But if you are looking for some top-class chipset that performs the best among everything, Samsung's mid-range phones are not the best option. Android 12 combines with the One UI 4.1 to give a super-fast and seamless performance. The interface is very fluid and easy to use, and the animations are pretty good too. The phone does not get warm very quickly and this is a very good sign for a mid-range phone. Gaming is decent, so gamers can have reasonably good gaming sessions. RAM and internal storage flexibilities are very good to see in A53. There are 4GB, 6GB, and 8GB RAM variants with internal storage of 128GB, and the one with 256 gigabytes internal storage for 8 gigabytes RAM variant. The support microSD slot for up to 1 terabyte is a big bonus. Upgradation in the battery is good compared to the older A52 and A52s. The A53 sports a 5000 mAh battery that easily lasts all day or even a day and a half sometimes. Smart energy efficient usage from the Exynos 1280 must be the main reason for this and this phone has got support for smart charging too. We can buy the 25 watt fast charger separately and this makes charging sessions really shorter. The absence of wireless charging is a bit disappointing but we must remember that this is a budget phone which has to compromise on something. So, to sum up, we can see that the features that this phone brings in is worth the money. 
and Samsung has promised to give good OS updates and security updates in future and believing in them we say A53 is a superb deal. Thanks for sticking with us, and keep in touch for more interesting videos.